What's up YouTube? Today I'm doing a review on my Nomad Survival Bow. I probably paid, um, I've got all the details here, give me a second. I paid about uh, $200 for it. The weapon, well pretty much the price is $164 but plus shipping and everything. It cost about $200. Um, oh, it's all this details on the website but I'm not going into it. It's Nomad Survival Bow 2469 is 40, 45 LB, so pull strength, and is carbon steel, blah 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 blah. So, pretty much, I'm gonna show you how to put this together. So, stay tuned. What's up, YouTube? So, this is the Survival Tank but Down Bow by Nomad. It's no mode survival bow. It has four limbs. Main body construction it is pretty heavy. The main body construction. You could probably knock somebody out with that. Um, there's no real bolts to hold it down. I don't like that idea. I think there should be bolts to hold this down, just in case. But there ain't. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do this. So you put that limb into there. This limb into the bottom. Then these two just go in there, measure it up. I have, there is new bows out there from other companies, and they have just one whole piece, so there'll be from here to there, it's one piece. And that's good, but this bow doesn't have that construction, so I don't like this design, but it works, so I'll just go grab the string for you. Um. There's two sizes on this string. One string is bigger or smaller than the other. So you put the smallest end on the one part and then you uh, wind it up to make it a tighter fit. Then, yeah. So, as you can see, you put it here. You tighten it up here to give it more um, or make it tighter of a bow as you can see and then you put one foot through the bow you um, I should get it right you pull forward you tighten the top loop around the top part there you really tighten that up Tighten that up, and then, there's your bow. So, that is your Nomad Survival Bow. Full setup and full construction. It is pretty freaking good. Bow, and yeah. So like, this bow is pretty strong. And I've shot this many times. The string, whenever, well, I've got to wax the string again. But there was, as you can see, there's like all this black stuff there to keep it like stronger. But on this end, it's come off, so I've had to cut it off. But luckily for me, I know how to refread this stuff, so I'll just do that again. And you can just tighten it up, so winding it up again like that with your finger and tightens it up so it keeps all together. Um, there's another thing that came with this bow, it came with three arrows but sadly they broke on me just because of the abuse I gave it and I've lost those arrows so that's a shit part but that's just what happened it comes with a pouch decent looking pouch it has two compartments one side and the other ones to fit the arrows and the string and the other side to fit the bow part and that's this big part um, and there's like there's a few things that came with oh this is yeah it's a basic thing but with this you carry it like this so it has its setup so how I like to carry it is I flip one side of these over like that and I set the arrows up in there and I tie it up, 
so I've got my arrows accessible to use. Um, as you can see, this path is pretty good. It's very um, strong, I guess. I would have preferred leather, but it didn't come with leather, so that's what I'm stuck with. And yeah. So as you can see, that sits pretty comfortably on there. And if I need to tighten it up, I well, I can, and I'll just carry it over my back. Um, I would have preferred just some more arrows, I guess. They always come with three arrows, and I think that would have, that sucks. Should come with at least six arrows. So when you start shooting them properly, you can just keep using more than three, but that's it. That's my review on the Nomad Survival Bow. So, that's it. Thanks, guys.